Hey y'all, welcome back to another mini-sode. A little while ago, I talked about kill switch, or kill dot switch, ah, not doing that again, and how its cover system was a major influence on many future AAA games. But it wasn't the first game to do it, just do it better. At the time, anyway. One of the early adopters of this mechanic was Winback for the Nintendo 64, which also had an enhanced port on the PS2 a few years later. It wasn't one of the best games ever made, but it had heart, and gained a bit of a fan base, myself being one of them. So I was surprised to see that a sequel was made, and when I was finally able to play it, was stunned to see that it was developed by Cavia, known for the Drakengard and Nier series. So how do they handle this franchise? Let's find out. In Winback 2, Black Hand, a rogue special forces unit, has joined forces with a terrorist group known as the Minutemen, and together have hijacked an arsenal of nuclear weapons stored at a secret military base, as well as seizing the codes for a secret weapon known as Project Poseidon. Oh, that's why they call it that. And the fate of the world is hanging by a thread. It's up to the CRT, or Crisis Response Team, made up of special agents Nick, Mia, and leader Craig to take down this threatening duo. The plot is your standard spec ops team needs to thwart terrorists yarn that you'd see on a direct-to-video Steven Seagal film, but it's surprisingly not as bad here, keeping your attention enough to get through the game. Like its non-story related predecessor, Winback 2 is a third-person shooter where you play as two of the three agents in each stage, one main and one support, and complete the objectives needed to accomplish the mission. What's interesting is that you play each stage twice. There are two routes, one for each character, that allow you to play the stage from that character's point of view. Also, when you do certain things in route A, it can either help or hinder the character in route B. At first this idea is neat, but as you get further it starts to become tiresome and just makes it obvious that this was done to extend the length of the game. At the end of each stage, you'll earn a rank based on time taken to complete, number of arrests made, and CRT points, which are earned by assisting your partner. If you get an A rank, you'll unlock characters for multiplayer but we'll get to that one later. Controlling the three agents is pretty smooth and easy to learn, especially the cover system. Also, being able to target and shoot specific body parts is always fun. You get a handgun and assault rifle to start with, but you can pick up other guns like a sniper rifle, rocket launcher, as well as grenades to aid you. Just don't get trigger happy as you can burn through ammo fast, and if you think your pistol has infinite ammo like in the first win back, well it doesn't. But you can get ammo by knocking out bad guys with melee, so you're not completely SOL. Lastly, let's talk about the multiplayer. It's... there. I mean, it's nothing special. Two to four players can partake in a few deathmatch modes, but it wears out its welcome very quickly. And that's pretty much all I can say about it. Visually, Winback 2 is a mixed bag, with the characters looking decent enough, or in the stage's boss's case, a little nutty. You are the god who killed my brothers. I put you down like the dog you are. The stages, however, are a bit bland and generic, like your standard factories, construction sites, office buildings. Nothing to write home about. The audio fares a little better though, as the music has some pretty catchy techno style tunes, keeping your head bobbing as you kill some terrorists. And voice acting? Well, it's not going to win any awards, but it won't make you want to pour cement in your ears, so bonus points for that. Cabrera here. I've found the bombs. I've also got a visual on our cartel member. He doesn't look too tough, but he's got guards all around. I want you to eliminate the guards first, then. Remember, we need the cartel member alive. Understood. Overall, despite not being as good as the first, Winback 2 is still a pretty good game. Yeah, replaying the same stage twice can get old, but with solid gameplay and controls, it's a fun cover-based shooter that may not be as fondly remembered, but it can still hold its own in a remarkable, but sadly short-lived series. And with that, this is the Dolly Popka. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.